One of the things I am hired to do once in a while is go around and check fence lines on some of the ranches. Make sure their wire fences are up good and tight and to make sure there aren't any extra tracks around because that could be somebody uh, up to no good. You watch your tire tracks when you're a rancher nowadays because sometimes they'll steal your cattle. Oh, I know it's uh, a lot of city folk think that stealing, rustling cattle, if you will, is something back in the 1800s, you bet. Something in the pioneer days or the true cowboy days. But you'd be far from the truth. In fact, a neighbor not too far from here had a dozen baby calves stolen this year. This year, a dozen baby calves were stolen. And you'd say that's terrible. At the same time, that's some pretty good money. Because when them baby calves grow up, they're $2,500 a piece. So you can see a dozen of them will add up real quick. And it also makes a difference a lot of these small ranches, whether they can make it or not. Absolutely. So we try to make sure the fences are up good, and we watch for tire tracks or anything that looks unusual. Because we don't want any of these baby calves getting stolen if we can at all help. So, needless to say, that's one of the things I'm out here doing today. In the middle of February. In the middle of February. Another thing you might ask is, why do you have calves in the middle of the winter? Well, you have calves for a number of reasons in the winter time, so that by spring, when they're ready to be weaned off the old mama cow, that they can eat grass, and it'll be good, sweet grass in the spring for them to eat. And that'll give them an extra boost. It also having baby calves in the winter time means there's a lot less chance of a rattlesnake bite on them. Because we can lose, a number of these farms will lose up to a half a dozen baby calves every year to snake bites. In the winter time, you don't have that problem. Because a baby calf, he sees a snake and being a stupid calf, he'll walk up to it and sniff it just to see what it is. And the old snake will bite him and kill him. Well, the snake, of course, doesn't eat him. He just kills that baby calf. And so rather than to have that happen, we have the calves this time of year. Now, true, once in a while, even an old cow will get bit by a rattler. But needless to say, the idea is uh, the cattle, the older they get, the smarter they get, and the more leery they are of anything unusual, including a snake. And uh, some that say, well, rattlesnake will rattle before it bites, you'd be dead wrong. They strike quite often without any rattle and without any warning. That's some of the things that we get to do out here in southwest Nebraska. We kill rattlesnakes and we watch for the guys that are out here playing poachers on our calves. Rate this film.